Allora Fatemi Fatemi Aurora Nightmare Nightmare of Winnipeg A Demi Nihad Ademi is my father He invented a kind of natural television which converted the music made by the Aurora Borealis into moving pictures a kind of organic television using nothing but the night sky for his materials. Aurora. Night lights. Dawn itself. A false dawn. My father has always been obsessed by the sky. He's convinced it holds the answers to all the questions. All the questions. Truth. Mine is the peculiar truth, which comes from the false. Aurora, the first day. I come from Bosnia. There, I played the tuba, raised my children, came to Canada, and I brought them with me. Sasha, Dado, Alan, Alma, Selma, and Boyana. Ademi. Dato. I go by David now. Selma. I'm named after my father's mother. I discovered the northern lights, and I heard the music. No more tuba for me. I heard the music played by the aurora. I heard the music, and I fell in love. It was true love for the false dawn. I loved nothing better than to help my father locate his stars and interpret their messages. Alan even told me if I kept on being such a bright little helper, I would rise up into the sky and became a brand new constellation, a shape of stars with my name. I believed him. Truth, the false dawn is my true love, and my children love too. They love their new country. They love their father. They love this life. The truth of the false dawn. Aurora. My father's dreams were the most beautiful dreams in the world, but I could feel in the moonlight on my skin where his hopes overlapped mine. And I could feel the pull of his telemelodium and its whirling machinery. I felt like surrendering myself to it. My children, they helped me with the heavenly ethers, the harvest, the collecting, the distillation. I swear my father got all his inspiration by yelling at bushes. He went into trances and he had me write down in the crazy cold everything he said to those bushes. That's how we knew what he wanted. At first, I simply wanted to share the music of Aurora with the rest of Canada. But soon, I found the music had optical powers. You could see with it. You could show with it. It was the kind of music that made you see. Listen to the music. Aurora can be harvested. Small chunks of life can be bitten off and kept. These 
These are converted to energies which embrace us. And by converting them to music, we can spread these images over our telephone lines and share them wherever Aurora casts her luminous gaze. To the west, the east, and the north. Anywhere. Those who have subscribed to my beloved dream. Pickaboo. Pickaboo. The telemelody. I sit here like a spider in my web. My web of phone lines. I am the nightmare. The nightmare. The nightmare. I hear a tingle from afar. And I respond by shooting out images. Images of everyday life. For everyday people. Images. Anyone with a phone, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere across this country, east, west, west north, anywhere. I show Canada to itself, the sum of ordinary things. Ordinary things combined and made miraculous. Miraculous. across the country to the farmers, the fishermen, the lumberjacks, the workers, to Canadians, to my fellow Canadians. Those who subscribe to my images receive two telemelodium speakers. At first, we sold lots of these speakers. The images went out. The images came in. Soon, the pictures took on a life of their own. Little images reacted with each other to make new ones. And those new ones reacted with the other ones to make images I had never seen before. Scenes. Scenes of ourselves. Scenes of Canadians. I don't know how, but the telemelodium acquired a mind of its own. It made images of Boyana just as she was the day she was born. This seemed very wrong at first. But I thought, well, she's Canadian now, so let the country see her this way, if that's what they wish. And if that's what the telemelodium wishes, I and my machine are new here. We want to belong. When the sun went down, and the aurora flashed up. The girls called up the subscribers, brought them good news that my scenes were on the way. Everyone gathered around the telemelodium. The age of Ademi.
the government came, the police came to stop the music, came to stop the music of Ademi. Why do they do that? They said it was filling up the phone lines used by citizens. They said it was jumbling our military signals. No more music, no more images. It was like someone turned out all the light in the sky. I'm not mad at the government. They don't understand what they're doing. I forgive, I forgive, I forgive. Truth. Mine is the peculiar truth which comes from the false. False dawn. Aurora. The song of the night. Nightmare. 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 They say that whales make music too. Deep in the sea. Maybe their music can be made into pictures as well. Safe pictures. Honest pictures of ourselves which won't bother anyone. 